Well, I am at the parking entrance here at Magic Kingdom. You know what that means. We're going to Magic Kingdom today. It does look like there is some construction out here on the perimeters of the Magic Kingdom parking lot, as you can see. I'm not sure if they're going to expand the lot. A nice parking garage might be nice. They're also got some dirt work over here where the old speedway was. I'm not sure if the parking lot will be extended out into there or not. There is a big long line going into the park today. Hello everybody, Scott again, Tourist Trap, and I have parked. And yes, we're headed into the Magic Kingdom. We go up here as we enter and see what the new security situation is looking like. See if that has relieved the problem at the entrance of the park entrance. See what we're going to be facing as a way of a line. Uh, to go through security here at the Ticket Transportation Center. There are lots of people filing through the parking lot and I found, could it be Adam the Woo? Could it be? It is not. It is a majestic though. But maybe we'll run into him. Who knows? Yes, one big crowd filing in headed to the Ticket Transportation Center to go through security. Well, as you can see, they do have some partitions up here at the Ticket Transportation Center. Everybody's being directed to the left to go through security. It's a big crowd of people at the Ticket Transportation Center, which you normally don't see this many people still at the Ticket Transportation Center. They got it set up over here underneath this here little booth next to the tram drop-offs and out into this area where the trams used to drive right on through here. So they are only using the other side of this uh, pavement. Uh, I would say a mess. Well, I'm finally in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, it was about quarter till 10 uh, when I uh, was at the Ticket Transportation Center. Now it is about 20 after 10. Good little lengthy wait, but as soon as I got here, off the monorail, right in the pass holder entrance, no wait, right on in the park, uh, was on the monorail, and they decided to do a little quick one minute reset on the, on the monorail. Some woman, as soon as they shut the air off, immediately said, somebody knock on the door, bust the window out. Open the door, open the door. She was freaking out because she was having a panic attack. She was having a panic attack and um, it was really crazy. Uh, so she uh, didn't last that long, but uh, they finally got the air back on. And um, interesting. I'm being uh, bombarded here by a by a little stampede down the street at me and they're trying to usher me out of the way and I'm trying to talk and do a video. Every time I seem to be out in the park, that tends to happen. They tend to, excuse me, sir, you gotta move. But listen to them, you gotta move. So uh, I'm not immune to that either. They had this big old, uh, uh, they have this big, um, shrubbery here blocking off the center of town square and i heard there was, there was some kind of rumor and i forget exactly what they said they was going to be putting there uh there's a little bit of a rumor going around right now about that now i'm going to attempt to make my way down main street through this herd of cattle uh, i'm talking about this big crowd today here in magic kingdom we're going to go over to tomorrowland and i know few people over there working today. I already hit one of them up. She was my former manager. Actually, we didn't call him a manager here. We called him a leader. We called him a leader. And uh, we're going to go see if we can get her on, on camera. And when I told her I was coming, that the people on my YouTube channel wanted to see her, she was like, oh no. But she's a bundle of joy. Uh, wonderful person to be around. I miss her greatly. 
and uh, every time I come to Magic Kingdom, I'm always messaging her, trying to find out if she's here. Took her to lunch once, um, and also going to go over and visit another cast member I worked with uh, in Tomorrowland. He's no longer in Tomorrowland. He now works over in Storybook Circus. So we're going to go around and see who all we can see. Maybe see if there's any updates or anything going on that walls up or something possibly it is absolutely unbelievable how long it does take to get into the park from the front i have to get used to that i used to come in in the back because i used to be a cast member and uh didn't have that crowd uh but uh it is a crowd in the mornings uh trying to get in i am almost over here at tomorrowland and uh I am going to show you some other areas of Magic Kingdom. We're going to see if we can't talk about some things, possibly. Uh, some things you might not know about today. Do you believe I found Carolyn? Yeah. How's Carolyn? <laughs> Good. How Welcome you? to YouTube. Thanks. Where's Deborah? Deb? Uh, she know. said she'd be out on, the, out on, the, on stage at 10. Oh, well, is it 10? Yeah. 10.29. Here's one of the hardest working Tomorrowland cast <laughs> members right here. She's been here. You've this been is here. Why we like you so much. You've been here before the way before they opened Tomorrowland, wasn't it? That's no. how long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no luck so far. I went to Merchant of Venus. I went into Mickey's Star Traders. I did run into Caroline. Hadn't seen her in a while. I'm still trying to track down Deborah. Uh, it's almost like tracking a ghost down at the Haunted Mansion. One thing that is new here in Tomorrowland is the Joffrey's Coffee. It's called Joff Joffrey's Revive. And it is right here beside the galactic stage where they do the dance party. Probably a good location for that coffee stand. Well, now here I am in uh, Space Mountain Shop. And here is my friend Gwen. She's waiting on some, some uh, guests here. I have talked to her before, a really good friend of mine. We're still in search of Deborah. Well, I must say, I've been all over Tomorrowland. Still cannot find Deborah. I could have better luck meeting Mickey Mouse, I think, uh, faster than finding Deborah. But uh, I have run into several other cast members. I didn't, they didn't get them on camera. Uh, Luis, he's been on camera before, and my good friend Suzanne. I uh, talked to her for a good little bit, I hadn't seen her for a while. And I am going back to the Space Mountain shop to see if I can find Deborah. Like I said, I probably can find Mickey Mouse faster than her. I have to say, this is getting utterly ridiculous that I cannot find Deborah. Uh, maybe she's at the Haunted Mansion. Maybe she has took up permanent residence in the Haunted Mansion. I'm not sure. Uh, she's got to be around here somewhere. I'm going to go back to Buzz Lightyear. Uh, a lot of walking around here, Deborah. Uh, wouldn't do this trying to find you if I didn't like you so much and you're such a good friend. Uh, I think you're just trying to hide. You don't want to be on here. Well, I finally ended my quest. I found Deborah. After uh, I was giving up. <laughs> she was giving up and I was about ready to give up too. But I found Larissa and she went and found her. It's so good to see you, Deborah. Good to see you too. It's, I'm sweating up a storm just walking around Tomorrowland trying to find you. It is hot, very hot. And uh, one fabulous lady right here. If you come into Tomorrowland, see this lady. She will put a smile on your face. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I had a very interesting conversation, quite a little bit with Deborah. Uh, uh, that's one knocked off my bucket list for today to track her down. The last time I was here, I couldn't find her. Uh, we're going to go over into Storybook Circus, check out uh, some things over that way show you a little bit over there see what's going on I see some walls are up over here by Starlight Cafe I'm not sure what kind of refurb they're doing over there at the uh, here on the cosmic rays at the corner maybe they're doing to put some more outdoor seating I'm not sure let's go over to Storybook Circus and see if we can find another cast member by the name of Jonathan that used to work with me. And they're racing around through Tomorrowland Speedway here. Oh, the excitement. One of these days, this here attraction may be no longer very soon. 
Well, we are approaching the entrance to Storybook Circus, and from the large crowd here going in, it does look like a circus, doesn't it? Uh, a big circus full of people. We're going to go over here to Big Top Souvenirs. We have the marquee out here, Pete's Silly Sideshow up at the State Fair. I seen a little side, they had some sideshows at the State Fair, more like a freak show. Uh, at the State Fair, but we're gonna go inside here. Probably won't be no freak show in here. A lot of clowning around goes on here inside of Big Top Souvenirs. Right in the center of Big Top Souvenirs is Big Top Treats. They have circus snacks galore and they're preparing them back here fresh. They got popcorn and they've got all kinds of caramel apples and dipped apples on a stick. I do tend to show a lot of food on this channel, as you're aware, and uh, this is no exception. I, I am a, have a sweet tooth myself here, and there's a lot of different items here in this case. You've got Dumbo Delights there. It says Dumbo Delights. Some really cool looking Mickey caramel apples on a stick in all different types of varieties with candy on the side of them and also pe uh, caramel peanut apple there and they got cookies down here and they have uh, looks like an, maybe an Olaf cookie there and then you got some gingerbread Mickeys and your Rice Krispies on a stick. Right here is where the magic is happening behind, behind uh, the counters here at the Big Top. They're mixing all kinds of ingredients for those apples, toppings. And it does look like maybe some kind of fudge. They do have the circus cotton candy right here in the middle. Everybody loves a good bag of cotton candy. And it is a big top for sure. And if you do look up, you'll see the trapeze acts, like I said, a circus up on the ceilings and right outside of the big top is a interactive play area for the kids that shoots water and everybody in this hot Florida Sun especially right now is peaking on 90 once again here in Orlando and uh, this is the place right here that uh, you want to come and get a little wet and uh, it's right here at outside of the big top all kinds of water, kids running, getting into the water. Ah, I have found a clown indeed right here. How are you, sir? I've been looking for you. Yeah, sorry, I've been hither, hither, and yonder. I thought, he's probably outside. Yep. I bet you he's outside. And there are a set of restrooms right here at the end of Storybook Circus. Uh, right as you exit and enter the train station, we're going to take you around to the other parts of the park. And uh, my friend Jonathan, I used to work with, he is out here at the Casey cart. He's a little busy at the moment, and we'll try to talk to him in a second. Oops. I've been over harassing everybody over in Tomorrowland. Now, how's that going? That, well, it took me a while. I had to track Deborah down. Yeah, and, um, I searched for some people that are still there. There's, uh, huh? I had to search a while to find people that you actually know. It's like there's no one there anymore. Yeah. And right here is the. Storybook Circus train station, and everybody is unloading the train right now. I have a friend who uh, he drives one of the trains here, Shane. I don't see him anywhere, but they're getting ready to take off and head over to um, Main Street, USA. Once again, I am back in Tomorrowland. We're gonna to go see if we can't ride the people mover. I haven't rode anything yet. It's been more of a harass the cast members type video today, but uh, I'm done with that. 
I'm gonna maybe try to get on this. It isn't too long of a line. Looks like it's sort of a line, but we're gonna see. Well, now I am on the people mover. It's a little bit of a wait, a few minutes. Uh, but now I'm setting down for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little, uh, little trip through Tomorrowland. It does seem to look like I like Tomorrowland a lot, but I do like a lot of the people I worked with over here in Tomorrowland. That's why I tend to come to Tomorrowland quite often. Uh, sorry about that, but there's some great cast members that work in Tomorrowland. Deborah, I can just name so many people's names. Uh, I, I, I would leave somebody out, but uh, everybody knows who they are. Uh, and yes, it's sort of been a, a little bit of a harass the cast members day here today. A little bit of a, a construction update, not really construction update, but the new security at the entrance at the Ticket Transportation Center. Did show you that. Uh, and uh, some of my dry humor. Uh, it is hot out here. It's almost 90 degrees and I keep wondering to myself why I'm here but uh, I'm here amongst a big crowd of people today an absolute huge crowd of people in the Magic Kingdom as you can see walking on the walkway of into tomorrow and we went through the little tunnel and now we're back outside and you see a good aerial Little, not an aerial, but a wide shot here of Tomorrowland. It's a nice little, little leisurely ride that you can ride through Tomorrowland. Feel the breeze, see the people, see the rides going on. Just really relaxing. Then you go inside a Space Mountain and come back out. Oh my gosh, we're getting ready to pass another people mover. Everybody say hello, goodbye. And they just came out of Space Mountain. And we're getting ready to go into the dark realms of Space Mountain. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, guys, this is going to conclude my day here at the Magic Kingdom. I've showed you some security updates over at the Ticket Transportation Center. I've harassed cast members. And uh, now I will say goodbye. Remember, go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it.